in today's class i'm going to talk and derive about the kinematic equations okay what is the kinematics so first thing we have to define it the kinematic is the branch of physics in which we talk about the motion but we don't talk about the cause of the motion okay we will discuss about cause of the motion in dynamics so first thing is kinematic equations okay remember uh, one thing before is starting to derive equations uh, when deriving these equations we are considering that acceleration is constant okay if acceleration is not constant we cannot apply these equations so uh, for uh, non-constant acceleration motions we have to apply calculus okay integration will be there so starting from the first equation we start from uh, the definition of acceleration according to the definition of the acceleration acceleration is denoted by a is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity that is change in velocity right divided by time that is acceleration is a uh, rate of change of velocity with respect to time okay so a equal to b minus b naught t if i simplify this equation uh, i can write down one and do cross multiplication right here it will become a multiplied with t it will give you a t and if you multiply uh, b minus b naught with one you will get b minus b naught right again i can write down this term in left hand side and uh, this a t on right hand so that i can rearrange like b equal to b naught plus a t okay this is the first equation first kinematic equation so again remember this one this acceleration a is constant okay now once we we, we get the first equation we can derive the second equation for kinematics uh, before uh, uh, going to derive the second equation uh, let us discuss about average velocity average velocity is denoted by b bar like this and is given by final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2 right while you are getting average of something you have to add the numbers and divide by the number numbers right i mean for example there are two velocities b and b naught there are two numbers right we divide by two that is simply how to get the average so this is the uh, average velocity okay um, if x is the distance traveled i can write down uh, the relationship between x and average velocity like distance traveled will be equal to average velocity multiplied by time that is time taken to to uh, uh, travel this much distance x right if i insert value plug in the value of p naught from above equation to this equation then i will get x equal to b plus b naught divided by 2 multiplied by t right this is the one equation so this is equation one this is equation second this is one of the equation of kinematic equation okay uh look at here to get another equation we have to use this equation which is equation one and this equation if you insert value of p from this equation equation one to equation two just to replace this b by b minus 80 right look at here how we will get it let me erase all these things and uh, this one also okay let me insert this value value of p value of p from this equation to this equation okay so x equal to uh, b naught plus a t plus b naught whole divided by 2 into t okay now let's see how what we will get just simplifying this equation you you, you can add 
एड भि नट एंड ए भि नट टू गेट टू भि नट राइट प्लस एटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज देर एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टी ओके अगेन इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड दिस टी with individual terms right here you will get 2 b not t plus 2 uh, is not 2 uh, it will be a t square divided by 2 right then x is equal to this much x equal to uh, 2 b not t divided by 2 plus half a t square this 2 will be cancelled and remaining terms will be b not t plus half a t square right this is another equation let's say this equation is equation three okay you can write down this equation in another form another form like uh you know if there is some initial distance traveled by an object then you can write down x naught is the initial distance that already an object has traveled and plus this term b naught plus b naught t plus half a t squared right this is the another form now again again starting from the definition of velocity let me write down again definition of velocity which is acceleration is equal to v minus v naught divided by t right uh, i can write down this equation like just rearranging v minus v naught divided by a and let's say this is equation uh, we are about four right equation four and from the definition of average uh, velocity and the distance which is v plus v naught divided by two multiplied by t okay again rearranging this equation i can separate this t and this will be equal to 2x this will be multiplied with this two will multiply with x getting 2x and b plus b naught right let's say this is equation 5 now to set these equations 4 and 5 equal to each other because right here on the left hand side we can see t and on the right hand side it is t there okay so i can write down something like um, b minus b naught uh, divided by a equal to 2x divided by b plus b naught okay cross multiplication gives you b minus b naught multiplied by b plus b naught is equal to 2ax right uh, you may remember may have remember one equation formula from the algebra a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b right so we can similarly write down this form into this form okay i mean we can write down this one into this form b square minus b no square right like a square minus b square equal to a plus b uh, multiplied by a minus b this is 2ax so rearranging this equation b square is equal to b naught square plus 2ax again we can write down this equation in the form of 2ax minus x naught if there is initial x distance traveled by an object okay in case of initial distance traveled by object is zero then you can write down x not equal to zero okay so this is the last equation in kinematic equation
okay uh, now write down let me write down all of the kinematic equations in one form one one place and uh, explain what the terms in each kinematic equations have okay so remember first one what we uh, get when we go through the um, definition of the acceleration we get b equal to b naught plus a t right this is the one equation let's say this is equation one okay and equation second is uh, if these equations are for if these are for one axis we can write down like x axis okay this is also x axis these are equations for along x axis uh, x equal to average velocity divided by 2 multiplied by time right this is second equation and the third equation we have was x equal to x naught plus uh, b naught x t plus half a x t square right this is equation three and the fourth equation is b x square equal to b naught square plus two a x x minus x1 so this is the fourth equation okay if you look at all these equations look at here different equation can be applied in different situation on the basis of the given variety for instance in the first equation you have final velocity you have initial velocity you have acceleration and you have time okay so if some of these variables are given and some are absent then you can use this one to calculate the target variable that you have to ask okay so in this one x is given which is the distance b is given v naught is given time is given now compare equation first and second if you have to calculate the acceleration second equation can't be used right no acceleration is present in this equation and go to third equation final velocity um, uh, distance traveled initial distance traveled v naught is there ax is there time is there right but uh, in this equation you can't see any term that is final velocity initial velocity is there okay so if you have you have to calculate final velocities uh, and all other uh, variables are given then you can use equation first and second look at here final velocity term is there okay in this one final velocity is here initial velocity acceleration and no time no time right just the distance is there okay so you can choose among these equations based on your problem 